Hey, thanks for joining us here on SportsRadio610.com. We're sitting here in the studio about to wrap up the show on a Thursday afternoon. And some of our discussion here today has been regarding a story that came out late in yesterday's show that the Rockets have announced a very strict policy for the upcoming season that will limit Yao Ming to 24 minutes in any given game on the court, even to the extent that if there's a play at the end of the game and it's a game-deciding situation and Yao Ming's played his 24 minutes, he will not be on the floor, which I find a little bit extreme, but I understand the sentiment, Robert, because Yao Ming, extremely competitive, basketball junkie, he wants to be out there as much as possible. They have to find a way to limit his minutes and keep him healthy this season. So, quite frankly, I'm not surprised that they would come out with an edict like this to avoid the sort of tug-of-war that could go on all season with Yao Ming over his playing Yeah, time. if they lay out the law right now that helps because there's going to be temptation. Yao, if he's feeling better with his foot, as all Rockets fans hope he will be, Yao's going to be lobbying for more playing time. Rick Adelman, he's trying to win games. The Rockets are engaged in a heated battle with the Lakers. He's going to be tempted to put Yao out there and try to get a little bit more out of him for that game, thinking, well, you can rest him against the T-Wolves and the other lousy teams in the league. This is why they are putting the rules in place now, so they have a firm set of guidelines, and hopefully... They can help Yao be ready. The goal is to have him ready to play more minutes, hopefully, by the end of the season rather than early on in the season or even in the middle of the season. They want him for the playoffs. Yeah, it's certainly an indication of how tenuous his situation is following the radical surgery to not only repair his foot but reshape his foot. And obviously in the final year of his contract, there's a lot on the line. Uh, for the Rockets. Uh, they are, have ex they've expressed interest in Eric Dampier. They're looking for as many backup plans, backup options as possible, and they're planning for the possibility that he may go down again. This is the year that we find out if Yao Ming has a future with the Rockets. This is a huge year for him, a huge year for the team, and this limits, this minutes limit is actually a good thing in helping to determine if he's a future, part of the future of this organization. Don't forget, you can catch all the Rockets games in the upcoming season right here on Sports Radio 610. Thanks for joining us on SportsRadio610.com.